Coming up in ViewCast, see how one professor is using this massive chopper to help keep you safer. You got me so addicted to you. And get ready to sing along with the first Vanderbilt star. You got me so addicted. Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with ViewCast. A Vanderbilt civil engineering professor is studying the science of risk, and he's building a lab like none other to do it. ViewCast Barb Kramer shows us the first step in creating this massive lab. It's a slow process, long anticipated. We have a very good school of engineering, but we were missing a laboratory like this where we can actually test very big objects in real life as opposed to doing it on a computer. Inch by inch, the giant heavy lift U.S. Navy chopper is moving to its new home. This laboratory is going to allow us at Vanderbilt to do experiments uh, at, a, at a full scale. The military helicopter is the first occupant of Vanderbilt's new warehouse-sized laboratory for systems integrity and reliability. We'll be able to do experiments on aircraft, um, on wind turbines, um, on full-scale systems so that we can get as close as we can to the real world, the, the realistic setting. With this real-size helicopter fuselage will come real-size testing and experiments in the 20,000 square foot lab. And that will allow us to develop new uh, systems to improve the reliability of energy systems, transportation systems, and security systems. The test chopper will be fitted with new lighter composite materials like those being developed for airplanes. The question is, how well will that new material hold up? The challenge is that these materials don't dent like a metal. So if they, if they get struck, they won't dent. They'll have no visible signs of any damage uh, in the material. We're developing ways in which to sense if the material has been damaged so that you can reduce, for instance, the cost of maintaining the aircraft so that you can reduce the downtime of the aircraft and the cost of, of keeping the air, aircraft uh, up and running. Joining the helicopter is a full-scale wind turbine blade for testing. And in the future, a Hummer vehicle and more than $8 million worth of equipment will be installed in the Metro Center lab. What this means for Vanderbilt is that we will have the complete suite of expertise that will allow us to understand why material may fail or structure may fail and also prevent it. The lab is scheduled to open in mid-April. For ViewCast, I'm Barb Kramer. Learn more about Doug Adams and his research on Vanderbilt.edu. Search Doug Adams. Congratulations to the four Vanderbilt graduate schools in the top 25 in the latest U.S. News and World Report ranking. These guys are looking for an American Idol, but a special music contest and fundraiser here at Vanderbilt just may have found a star. It's a songwriter's twist on American Idol. Hoping to discover a Vanderbilt star. Talented students writing their own songs. Performing for music industry pros. That felt like a hit to me. The winner, Divinity School master student, Sarah Jennings. I'm so excited. I've, I mean, I've only ever recorded for fun with my friends and, you know, basements and things. So this is a really exciting. How did she come up with the song, Addicted to You? I had a crush on this boy. And so all, that's where all love songs come from, right? You know, some sort. The showcase is a win-win by raising money for an awesome cause, Next Steps. So we are a two-year, non-degree program for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities to have a college experience. So our students are taking classes, they are developing their social skills, they are um, having internships. The grand prize? A single song recording contract or publishing deal from indie label Le Mans Records. What's next for this Divinity grad student and first ever Vanderbilt star? Wherever the Lord places me, I guess. 
Thank you. You can hear Sarah's entire song on Vanderbilt.edu. Search Sarah Jennings. To learn more about the Next Steps program, go to Vanderbilt.edu and search Next Steps. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf.